my fellow Arkansans, let us never forget what we are fighting for. As a mom, I'm reminded what is at stake every time I tuck my three kids into bed each night. No matter where you come from, no matter your race or color or creed, no matter who you voted for, my pledge to you is this. From this day forward, you will have an advocate, a reformer, a friend and a fighter at the highest levels of your state government. All I ask in return are your heartfelt prayers that God will help me be the leader that you deserve. With your help and devotion and unity of purpose and a singular spirit, we will lift up the least of us and make Arkansas the proud home of freedom that we know in our hearts it can be. Together we will build upon the Arkansas that we love and we will make it even better. Our legacy will be a land of breathtaking beauty, full of kind, generous, and hardworking people. A place where values still matter, common sense is prized, and faith runs deep. So let this new generation go forward with confidence and courage, for we are not descended from the weak and timid. We are the heirs of pioneers and patriots. We are the state that feeds and clothes the world. We are the state that hauls products from factories and farms to the marketplace, rain or shine. We are the home of working class heroes who are the beating heart of America. We are the land of opportunity where a mom and pop store is free to grow into the most successful business on the face of the earth. Arkansas is the place where children once barred from the schoolhouse are now memorialized in bronze at the State House. <laughs> Nothing will stand in our way as long as we stand together. We are Arkansans, and our future has never been brighter than it is today. Four months ago, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Thanks to exceptional doctors right here in Arkansas, a successful surgery, and the grace of God, today I am cancer free. the news I couldn't help but think about my mom. She was 20 years old and in her very first year of marriage when she was diagnosed with spinal cancer. The doctors told her she might not live. If she did live, they said she'd never walk again. And if she did walk again, she'd definitely never have children. Three kids and seven grandkids later, Janet Huckabee is as tough as ever. My mom once said that if God had given us the ability to look into the future, none of us would go beyond where we were at that moment. Fear of the unknown paralyzes us, but faith propels us to charge boldly ahead. My fellow Arkansans, we are not called to stand still in the face of great challenges. You and I were put on this earth at this very moment to charge boldly ahead. We know not what the future holds, but we know who holds the future in his hands. And with God as our witness, And with God as our witness, we will show the world that there is still a place in America where freedom reigns and liberty will never die. And that place is Arkansas.